If you cross me now, I will deal with you. It's not even as Jesus has not, I, I'm not coming, boy. He just shows to his dead table. What's the problem? I'm talking to you, and you're, you're, you're walking. Mom, when the red man comes, I will definitely bring him to you. Just, just leave me alone now. Eh? Let the right man come before you eat one of us. Don't you know that there's something that's called premature menopause and it's around your age? What's your problem? Sometimes I, I wonder if I'm your mom. I had you at 18, Gabby. 18 years! I was already a mother. Mommy, please now. Please! I don't want me to beg you. I've been so sad. I've been working all day. Work, right? That's all you know how to do. Work! Raise a family for yourself! Raise a family! You know what? I'm not going to leave this house until you get married. No, and I'm going to give you to your hands! Fire for fire! Mommy, you leave this house now. Ah! Uh, really? I will not get crazy! Oh, oh! You will get crazy or you get married. Gabby, read my lips. Go crazy or you get married. I have come to stay. I have come to stay! I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign My mom is driving me insane I can't breathe in my own house Same marriage talk Always. Gabby, just get married already. Uh, please don't start. <laughs> don't, don't cause me grief. What do you mean don't start? I am your friend. And if I don't tell you the truth, who will? You know what? Forget it. I came out here for some sanity. The last thing I want is another mom right here. I'm sorry. All I want is for you to be happy. So just know this and no peace. Believe me, I am happy. When the right man comes, I will get married. Oh, let's cheers to that then. Okay. Cheers to the right man coming. You're so annoying right now. Okay. All I know is that you need to get married. I mean, you can't just leave me in that field alone. Hey, darling. Ah, uh Anna. -uh, no. Yeah, sorry. Hey, sorry. Hey, don't worry, I won't talk about it anymore. So tell me. <clears throat> Gabby, is this the right time for a woman to come out? Mom, please, I only went out for a drink. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. You don't have any family of your own. You just go about because if you had had a family of your own, you wouldn't be coming back by this time. But no, you are very lonely. Accept it. Nobody misses you and you don't miss anybody. Gabby, get a family. Get a family of your own. Stop fooling yourself, pretending as everything is okay. Telling the world that you're happy. You are not happy, Gabby. You are not. Mom, getting married and having kids is not all there is to life. No, console yourself with it now. Console yourself with it. At 30, at 38 years, you're coming home to an empty house, mortuary standard, graveyard. No, nobody to, to run around. I've, I've been here, nobody to run around. Jumping on my, on my body and plating my head. I'm, I'm here watching TV. You're not ashamed of yourself. 30, 38 years single lady. My little princess, my beautiful opening. You're sparkling like the morning sun. You're so beautiful. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Oh, uh, yes, I did. Did you? I never had a better night. Okay. Mom, is, is everything all right? 
Okay, yes, everything is fine. But I'm having a friend for dinner tonight. And I would want you to come home by 6 p.m. Okay. Um... Do I know her? No, you don't. Okay, um, I'll go for you right now. Very well, then. Oh, Martin, darling. Look beautiful for me tonight. Beautiful. Okay? <sighs> <laughs> Who I am, I'm making a new plan, rearranging my life, and I won't look back ever again. Yeah. If you ain't see me activated, you better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan them out, evaluated. That's how I end up on the top, man. I'm calculated. My mind's a weapon, my body is the engine. I'm never second guessing, I just do it. I was destined, cause I feel like. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that was intense. <coughs> How many more rounds to go? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm done. Ooh. You're my mom, man. She was acting funny this morning. How do you mean? She was all nice and sweet. She has not been like that to me for weeks now. Oh, well, that, that's refreshing. Perhaps she realized she has to take it easy on you. Uh, my mom is up to something. I just can't figure it out to it. She said we're having a friend over for dinner and asked me to dress beautifully. <laughs> oh, beautifully? <laughs> Babes, I smell a rat. Abby? Uh-huh. I mean, everything just sounds like matchmaking. Nah, my mom will not stop so long. Stop it. Nah. Look at this one. <laughs> Babes, do not underestimate a desperate mom. Come on, Yara. Uh, Yara, my mom will not do that. Okay. That's going too far. We bet. shall see. Huh? Somebody is getting hooked up. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> friend's son. He just got back from UK a few days ago. Yes. And I am my beautiful daughter. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Um, my name is Ayomide, like she said. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Well, nice to speak with you now. Excuse me. Relate card. Is this? Why would he bring a stranger to my home? Uh, Ayomide is not a stranger. I have known him since he was a child. <sighs> Mom, this is very low of you. What are you talking about? As a matter of fact, you should be happy that I brought in a young, vibrant man for you from a good family. Mom, I never told you I need a man. The last time I checked, this is my life, not yours. And what kind of life are you living? A poor, lonely life? 
Kabi, you are 38. All your mates are married with children. And very soon you will be out of market with only hope of marrying an Alahaji. And I will not accept that. Then let me worry about that. After all, you were never married. <coughs> How dare you talk to me in that one? You have no idea. Excuse me. driver waited for you all night at the bar and you never showed up. Ronan, why? Mommy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Boy, is that an explanation? I mean, just crossed at the friends. You didn't think it was wise of you to call me and inform me? My, my battery died, Mom. Hmm. And your friend's battery died too? Only, it won't happen again. Oh yes, it will not happen again. Boy, it will never happen again. It better not happen again. Okay. Did you know how worried you got me? Okay. Please, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Don't try it again. Don't do that. Okay, Don't get me that worried. It won't happen again, I promise you. I'll go inside. You smile now. Ah. <laughs> I gave birth to trouble. I did. Just to kill me.
I'm not fine. I'm not fine. He's going to come over to my place. Hi, please. Thank you. Babes, this better be good because I had to leave my house this morning. I left everything I was going to do to come here. So shoot. I messed up. What did you do? I... I slept with a total stranger. What? <laughs> you... Hey! <laughs> so my uptight friend finally decided to loosen up. Hey! Just stop now. This is so interesting. Shoot, tell me, tell me, tell me. Everything is not a joke, Joe. I just told you I slept with someone I, I, I don't know. Come on, babe. Give me the full gist. How was it? Was it good? Did you enjoy it? How did it go? Mm -mm. Give me, give me the gist. Well, since he was, I don't remember the guy, yo. But I remember. Don't. Uh huh. It was the best night in ages. Wow! Uh -uh. So tell me you're seeing him again. Tess, mm -hmm. have you not been listening to what I've been saying? I just said that I don't know this person. I have no memory of his appearance. I'm not even sure he knows my name because I certainly don't know his. Ah. Gabby, were you drunk? I would like to say that I was. Anyway, he left his phone number at my bedside. Oh, oh, great! You should give him a call. Not happening. And why? Tess! Mm hmm. Why would I call him? I just told you that it was a one night stand. It never should have happened in the first place. Tess, you know me now. It's not my thing to sleep with strangers. You know, it's just, it's just all my, 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 my mother's fault. How is that? Um, you remember I told you we were going to have dinner with her friend? Yes, I do. Well, well my, my, my mother thought it wise to, 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 to try to match make me with him. Ah, I knew it. I hate to say I told you so. I was so <laughs> pissed there. Eh? I got so angry I stormed out of the house and drank a lot. Oh. Come on, Gabby. Don't beat yourself up. I mean, it's all for your own good. At least you got to loosen up all those emotions. All these your uptight emotions. Uh uh. Trust me, it's for your own good. You don't say you don't think now. Uh uh. No, uh, -uh. Oh, oh, damn. You're not serious, so. <laughs> man. You always find a way to make me laugh, even when I'm not in the mood. That's crazy. <laughs> you gotta call that guy, though. No. You need to call him. I will not. <laughs> Babe, you're stubborn, shall? I see you don't want your mommy to get off your back. I want to, but certainly not this way. Uh, Thank you. The uh, case is hopeless. Uh, let it be. Hey! Oh. My baby got laid! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> On <being> food. <laughs> god! He saw that told me this and I said, no way! <laughs> Do you have a moment, please? I want us to talk. Have you found a husband? Why? 
sit if you want to sit. Paul, I'm upset. Hmm? I'm upset you tried to match make me with your friend's son yesterday. I think it is unacceptable. Mom, I'm not a child anymore. I can find my own man. I told you that the only thing is that I have yet to meet the right man. But when I do, I would definitely bring him home. I need you to respect that. Is that all you have to say? Are you done talking? Yes. Okay. Gabby, see here, when I listen to you talk, you sound like a 25 years old child. But in reality, you are 38. It would have been better if there are no suitors coming your way. But the fact that you kept rejecting and selecting men is what I am here to wrap around my head. Mama, I'm not selecting. I'm not picky. Like I said, I just haven't met the right person yet. I need my grandchildren. All my friends have grandchildren running around them. But I am stuck here with you alone. But you know what? Moving forward, the only thing that will bring peace in this house is the day you will come back home with a man. And you introducing that man to me as your husband. Otherwise, I will give you war upon war. And that's a promise. Mommy, please let me find a man at my own time, my own pace. You had 10 years to do that, yet you came home with nothing. Now it's my turn. And I have introduced you to a very young, cute man. I am midday, and you are going to marry him. And that is final. Mommy, I don't like him. How do you like somebody you don't know? Of course, you have to get to meet him. Go out with him, play with him, ask him questions. He asks you questions, you get to meet him. Then you will like him and you will marry him. If you will excuse me. Thank you for your time. Let me see whether you will not bring on my man. Rubbish. What are you doing here? Um, Gabby, nice to see you. I thought to ask if you would like to go to dinner with me. Listen. I don't like you, okay? This whole thing was my mother's idea and apparently yours as well. I'm really not interested. So I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you don't show up here again. Hey, hey, take it easy, okay? The difference is that I really do like you. And if you give me the opportunity, you're gonna realize that I'm a very good person. Please leave. Guy won't let me be. He really wants to go out with me. Which guy? The guy my mom tried to match make me with. He, he has no, 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 absolutely no shame at all. Huh? Imagine, at his age, he still believes in matchmaking. He must be really frustrated. Oh, <laughs> babes, have you looked at yourself in the mirror before? 
Like you are a fine girl. Hey. You're a fine babe. <laughs> and no man will have the opportunity to go out with you and we want to. Even when I'm more interested. Gabby, come on now. This is no longer fun. You are 38 years old. Can you give someone a chance? If I didn't know better, I would think you are waiting for somebody. Ah, my sister, there's nobody. Mm. Ah, I haven't found the right one. And how can you find the right one if you wouldn't let anyone in? Babes, go out with this guy. Even if it's for once. At least, you never can tell. Maybe you both can just click. You know? I don't know. He's not even my type. Like... Just try. Try now, Gabby. At least that way your mom would know that you are trying. Mm. Uh -huh. At least your mom is making an effort. Much of an effort now, baby girl. Gabby? Uh -huh. Let's just do that. Test this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that makes sense. Yes. Give yeah, someone a chance. How can you be wasting all this beauty all alone? God damn it. Hey, I can't do that. Get me up, oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, but really, you should give it a talk. In the salon the other day. Hey. Mom. Yes? I have decided to go out with Ayo just to see if things will work. Are you serious? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I told you, I knew you would like him. He's a very cute young man. Check it out, man. He's tall, he's cute, he's, he has broad shoulders. We will see. We will see. <laughs> I know you would like him. You just made me happy. Mommy. <laughs> thank you. I know it will work. Okay, I hope I so. Did. <laughs> All right. Thank hey. you, Mommy. Yes, baby. making my boys smile this much. Hmm? No, you you are blushing, literally. <laughs> tits to tits. No, it's nothing. Boy, I know you, and I know you well. So out of it. Still. Hmm? Okay, let's... I say I met someone. Ooh, okay. You know this girl must have really left an impression on you. Yes. <sighs> Look at the way you are smiling, ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> What is her name? I don't even have a name. Oh. I didn't even get her number, Mom. Oh, God. Um, okay. Uh, where does she live? Um, I'm not sure. I would just have to find my way around here. I'm not sure. Me, day. <laughs> okay, are you trying to tell me that you are in love with a girl that you don't love. know her name, oh. you don't have her contact, you don't even know where she lives? Okay, mom, love is way too deep, okay? I, I like her, you know, she's, she's fine, mm. but mm. not love, I, mm. I like her. Mm. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, um, pay her a visit. How about that? Yeah. Pay her, and say what? <sighs> Say how you feel. Oh, my can't just badge in on her. Besides, I don't even know where she stays. Oh. Limey day is in love. Oh, stop it, Mom. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Oh, I shouldn't you have told you. This girl should be worth it. She should be worth it. Mm -hmm. hmm? You're embarrassing me, honestly. I shouldn't have told you. Hey, why would you tell me? What, what to keep it away from me? I will still find out. Huh? Ah. I'll find out. Tell me about you. I am an entrepreneur. I have lived most of my life in the UK. And now I am back to settle down. Can I think about it? I don't think we should just hit it off right away. I really do like you, Gabby. I'd prefer we start off as friends. 
just go with the flow and see where it leads us. That sounds like a plan. We're ready. I'm ready whenever you are. How did it go? You're not sleeping. Oh, how did it go? Are you guys dating now? Oh, easy, Mom. We just spoke for the first time today. We're not dating yet. I asked for us to be friends first so that we can get to know each other better. Are you serious? Gary? Are you serious? Good. But why? 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 Why do you have to punish me this way? Why? Oh my God. Gabby, at 38, you'll see friends only in a man. God, God. How did they say to my daughter? Who did I offend? Gabby, who did I offend? Why do you hate me this much? Why are you treating me like this now? Why? Mom. I love you. No, you no. don't. But your drama is too much for me to handle. I'm going to bed, please. Good night. <laughs> Let's go and see a doctor. Mm. Oh, I'm fine. I just need to rest a bit. Are you sure? Mm. Okay, then I'll go make you breakfast. Mm -mm. I'm not hungry. No, no, no. You have to eat something. I'll go prepare you something light, okay? Mm -mm. I said you have to eat something. Maybe a glass of water. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dear. <coughs> Thank you, Mom. That'll be your friend. I'm not. Who are you? You're changing. Look at you. I'm a woman. I know when someone is changing. Let's take you to the hospital, okay? Mom, please. I'm not going to be pregnant. I'm not 18. I'll know when I'm pregnant. And if I have to go to the hospital, I will do that alone. Because me, I know what I'm saying. I know what I am saying. Please. Baby, you look pregnant. Oh, when you're pregnant. Eh? Okay, I'll do the work for you. 
Tess, um, please can you come over to my place? Hmm? Gabby, I don't like the tone of your voice. Uh, yes, please. Please, there's trouble. Oh, okay, okay. okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll be there as soon as the kids are back from school. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm all right. All right. Mess. Babe, have you been crying? God, I, you seem pale. My goodness, if, if I didn't know you, 
I'll assume you're pregnant. Yes. Hmm? I am pregnant. <laughs> How? Is it Ayomide's? No. I think it's that one time with it with a stranger. Oh my oh my word. Um have have you tried to call the number? No. I think you should. And tell him what? Hmm? Hey, stranger. I'm pregnant. You're responsible. Come on, Tess. I cannot do that. Can you, can you just hear yourself speak? You know, sometimes I, I don't understand you. Okay, okay so what, what do you intend to do now? Get rid of it, of course. Hell no! Listen, girl. You will do no such thing. Babes, this is a miracle. You are 38 years old and you are having a baby. Mm? Without, a Without a father. Come on, darling. Your baby has a father. Okay? Tess, what if he rejects the baby? Oh, please be optimistic. It will help. I don't even know this person. Mm? Ah, you know what? I think you should still give him a call. I mean, this is a miracle. And no matter what comes, this baby stays. This baby has to stay. Okay? This, this is just overwhelming. I, I, I'm not ready for this. I'm mm. just not ready for this. Okay? Babes. Relax. I am here with you. I'll help you. Everything will be fine. I mean, you will be fine. Trust me. You'll be fine. So, so. Oh, babe, cheer up. We're having a baby. Are you serious? Oh my God. Look at my baby, I'm so happy. Is that your middays, right? No, ma'am. Then who's? As long as I know you don't have a boyfriend. It's complicated. Can break it down. Uh, I don't know who the father is. I don't understand. You recall that night we had a fight because of Ayamide? Well, I went out and had a lot to drink and um, I met someone and we had sex and parted ways the following morning. Wait, 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 though. Let me know whether I understand what you're saying. The night we had quarrel over Ayamide, you went out, you had so much to drink, you met one man, you had sex with him, and you parted with this the following morning. Now you are pregnant. Was that what you were trying to say? Mom, please, I'm not a child. Quit treating me like woman. All my friends are married and they have children. Exactly what I've been telling you for years. But the problem now is that you're pregnant with a child whose father you do not know. Mom, I'm going to get rid of it. What? Gabby, is there any cause placed on your head? At 38 years, you are still contemplating of having an abortion? You will do no such thing. You are going to see the father of that child and you will marry him. 
Yes, I am 38, but that doesn't mean I'm desperate. If I found the father of the child, then what am I going to say to him? What if he's married? I'll get rid of it, please. It's just blood. Look at me. You were just blood and I didn't flush you away. Even when all odds were against me. So you know what? I repeat, you are going to seek the father of that child and he will do the next for. And don't stress me with it. My name is Gabby. I um, I we met at a bar a few weeks ago, and something happened between us. And then you left your phone number with me. Okay, um, I need to see you urgently. Um, may I come to your place tomorrow, please? Yeah, sure. We'll text you the address. Okay. Thank you. What is it? Um, 
and not very. I called him and he agreed to meet. Okay. Mom, please, can you come with me? I can't do this alone. My strength fails me. Of course. I will accompany you, my dear. That's why I'm here. And I will always be here for you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Mom, to be honest, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to expect. Don't worry, dear. It's fine, okay? Everything will be fine. Hmm? Trust me. Thank you for staying here with me. All the way. I will always stay. Okay. Oh, Mom, what if he... What if he rejects the baby? Um, good day. Good day, Mom. We are here to see Olamide. And you are? And his friend. Uh, she's aware we're coming over. Oh, okay. This is my mom. Hi. Hi. Please, can you tell Olamide that we're here to see you? Excuse me? Hi, Gabi. It's me, Olamide. Don't you remember me? No. It's me, you. Yahoo? Oh, 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 what's going on? Don't tell me this is the person we're here to see. Hmm. Blink. My soul. Yes, ma'am. How old are you? I'm twenty. I'm twenty, ma'am. What? Gabi. Oh, Gabi has finished. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Um. Pause. Please, what's going on here? What's this? Huh? I have no idea who you guys are. So coming into my house and asking my son stupid questions, foolish questions, is unacceptable. Please, what brought you to my house? What are you doing here? Um, apologies, ma'am. Mm -hmm. There is a mix-up. This is the wrong house. Ah, I thought so. Gabby, it's me. Ola, don't you remember me? I left you my number by the bedside. Mm -hmm. Are you sick? No. I'm not a regret. You are a child! I'm not a regret. No, 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 you know, since I got here, I have been very quiet. I'm only there. But it's very obvious that you have no respect. I can see that you are very disrespectful and you don't have sense. Excuse me! Shut up when I'm talking! <laughs> and now you are this curious, you want to know what brought us right? I will tell you. Mm -hmm. Tell me. My daughter here, Gabby, is pregnant for your son. What? Holy shit. Gabby, is it true? Are you really pregnant? <coughs> yes, she's pregnant for you. <laughs> My boy, you are asking the wrong questions, yeah? Hmm? 
They're obviously not asking the wrong question. You know, I knew from the moment that these two people stepped into this house, they're obviously insane or mad. This is not a circus. So these clan questions you're asking, it doesn't make any sense. Oh no, eh? but a mad person. You reek of madness. Everything about you reeks of madness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me alone, let me mm -hmm. talk to mm -hmm. this idiot. Mm -hmm. What is that? They just came from my house and it's not that. What is going on here? No, 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 no. I said no, I cannot be fed up for a child. Promise, go to this other house for me. Mommy, you're supposed to be bullied. Hey, sit down. Hey, Gabby, Gabby. Sit down. I asked you a question. Please answer me. Is it true? Are you really pregnant? Can't you hear me? I just said that I cannot be pregnant for a child. She's pregnant for you. Um, <clears throat> Ola, Ola, uh, excuse me. Uh, um, you just said that you're pregnant for my son. Yes. Right? Please tell me, how old are you? 38. <laughs> my son is 20! And I am 38, so you're trying to tell me that my son got a woman who is old enough to be his mother pregnant? Is that what you're trying to say? Make it make sense! You is girl! Yes. Are you really responsible for her pregnancy? No. No. But, but, but I don't start! Are you responsible or not? Well, remember the girl I told you about? I, I, the truth is, I, I'm, not even, I'm, I'm not too certain about the pregnancy. But if she says I'm responsible, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to take full responsibility. Just shut up your mouth! Shut up your mouth! Responsibility for, 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 for what? Eh? As what? You're a student. You're not even done with school. You talk about responsibility. And what the hell are you even calling her a girl? Look at her. She's obviously an old, ugly hack. And you're calling her girl. You're supposed to call her auntie. Hmm? Or you call her elder. Or you even call her mother because she's my age mate. Well, uh, you, uh, 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 I don't want to know what you have to say. Please just take your daughter and just you get the hell out of my house. Shut up. Shut up. Why are you talking to me like that? Eh? Well, I don't blame you. You see, you can open your mouth, go ahead and puke every garbage that is in your mouth. But I want to tell you something that a child is involved. Okay, um, madam, your frustrated, ugly, old daughter here manipulated my son into sleeping with her because she's miserable, too miserable, born out of the fact that she cannot get a man. Oh. So you cannot stand here and talk to me like that. No, no, mommy, I won't let you talk to Gabby like that. I already told you how I feel about her. If I slap you, I swear, if I slap you, eh, you will lose your memory. That Gabby, Gabby that is coming out of your mouth, you will swallow it. Which one is Gabby? I love her. How can you, how can you address her by her name? You're addressing her by her name? You're supposed to call her auntie? Or you call her elder? Or you even call her mother because she's my age mate? Addressing her as G -G -G Gabby. Hey, Gabby or Gabbage or whatever your name is, you and your mother get the hell out of my house. I am done with this nonsense. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. I don't blame you. You know what? I do not blame you. I blame this, my, my, my unfortunate daughter who opened her legs. Wow! For a small boy and this idiot. Ah, don't you dare hit my son again! Daddy! Like Mawa. No problem. No, no problem. I will say you. No, 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 for me, she's crying. She's... Don't come around me. I don't want you anywhere around me. Don't call me. Will you stop all me? I will never forgive you for 
for this. You see this one that you did? I will not forgive you. How did he go? Disastrous. I slept and woke up and I'm pregnant. For a 20 years old. A boy I could mother. Oh my god. Kabe, I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. Honestly, I don't know what to say. See, it just feels like my life is going round. I'm round I'm round and it just won't stop spinning. It feels like I'm in an endless dream I just can't get out of. You look at me. I'm 38 years old, unmarried, pregnant, unhappy. Just, just take it easy, okay? Calm down. We we are going to figure it out. How? I don't know. But what is the boy even saying? See, you just called him a boy. Tess, I am pregnant for a boy, not a man. <sighs> See, he says he likes me, and that makes me sick in my stomach. But that is a good sign. Sign? A good sign? What kind of sign is this? Tess, you know I cannot be with him. He's way younger than me. Uh, babe, bye, so sorry. You should just take it easy, okay? She will be fine. Thanks for being here for me, Mama. I'm just... It's all right. I don't even know where to begin. I know, I know the feeling. And what are you thinking of again? Well, Gabby has some calls since she left with her mom. Hmm. And she's supposed to call you. She's with child. My child. Ola, what is wrong with you? Hmm? What is going on with you? Did she possess you or something? Why do you want to be with a woman that is old enough to be your mother? Please. She's not my mom. If it's true that she's pregnant, I need to be there for her. Mom, I really love Gabby. You don't understand. <laughs> love. Boy, do you know the meaning of love? Hmm? Do you know what it means to be in love? You are barely 20. You have no idea what love is. You don't know what it means. You have no notion. And even if you want to be in love with someone, why would you choose to be in love with a woman that you're supposed to call mother? Well, let me do. Ola, you will not be with that woman. I forbid it. You will never, ever be with that woman. And that is final.
Gabby, do you realize that a pregnant woman stays at one place and rest? Not walking out around all day. I'm going to go in my head. Okay, now what next? I don't know. I need time to figure out what I want. Well, anyway, whatever it is that you want to figure out, make sure the baby stays. Oh, Gabby, I got you a cute young man from a responsible home that came back from the UK smelling of foul telling. But what did you do? You got yourself pregnant. Mommy, stop rubbing it in. Eh? It was a mistake. Okay? I didn't plan for any of this to happen. I need my mom right now. I need my mommy right now. Please, can you do that little for me? No someone who makes me miserable. Well, I have promised to stay with you all the way. But I will not stop expressing how disappointed that I am. I am disappointed, Gabby. There is nothing that I did not do to raise you. I gave you the best that I could. How did you pay me back? All I wanted was for you to get married to a good man and live a good life. But no, you brought this upon yourself. So you have to face it. If you had gotten married the time your mates were getting married, probably you would have gotten a child as old as that boy that got you pregnant. Do you even feel my pain? Mommy, it's okay now. It's okay. It's okay. I know I failed you. And I feel myself. I know, I know, mommy, it's enough now. You're driving me insane. If I could change anything, I would. Honestly, but I cannot. Mommy, I cannot. No matter how much you say, no matter what. I cannot change anything. Huh? Please. You're driving me insane. I can't, I can't deal. I can't, I can't handle it anymore. I cannot do it anymore. I cannot change anything. Even if I was there to, I can't change any of these things. No matter how much you say, no matter how much I want to, I cannot change anything. The only thing I can do is take away this baby and just move on. Mommy, you wouldn't. You won't get rid of the pregnancy. That child is your miracle child, so you're keeping it. You're keeping that baby. Oh, please, I cannot do this anymore, mommy, please. Mommy, please, I cannot do this anymore. This baby should go. Just go. No. Just go. I can't do this. Mommy, please, please. Just get up. Mommy, please. Get up. Mommy, please. Get up, Gabby. Mommy, please, please. Get up. Get up. Mommy, help me. I can't go back to you, Mommy. Mommy, help me, please. Mommy, help me, please. How many times have I told you to stop calling me? Gabby, I can't stop calling you. You're hot and I want to be here for you. I want to see you. I don't want to see you, Ola. I don't. Gabby, please, just this once. And if you ask me to stop calling, I will after this one time. All right. It's fine. Tomorrow, 7 p.m., where we first met. Thank you.
Where are you going to? I'm going to see a friend. You better not be going to see that old woman. And please don't start. Mide! I forbid you! Mom, does it matter to you that this person is pregnant? With your own grandchild? Okay, first of all, it hasn't been confirmed that she's pregnant with your child. And even if she is, you're not going to have anything to do with her. Do you understand? Look, I'm not a baby, okay? I'm a grown-ass man. <laughs> grown-ass man indeed. Boy, you are a student, okay? You don't even have a job. You're still in school. You're not a man. You're a child. My child. Thanks for reminding me. But that will not stop me from going to the day for my child and its mother. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Point of correction, it's more like your child and your mother. Yes, with you in the picture, she instantly has two children. Oh, thank you. Oh, let me day. Please. How are you? Things are not the same. Look, why are we here? Look, Abby, I... I want to apologize for that night. All of the things I put you through. Abby, I want to be there for you. Okay? You ruined my life. Look, I just want to forget about everything. You and the baby. I don't get. I'm getting rid of the pregnancy. No. No. Gabby, I love you. I really do love you. It's okay if you don't want me, but please do not harm my baby. I can't be pregnant for a child. I am not a child. Gabby. If I had kids when I should have, I would have one your age at home. But you don't. Okay, Gabby, I'm the father of the child in your womb. Let me take care of you, baby. Please. Listen to me, Alamide. You have your whole life ahead of you. You should be with a younger lady, not a woman my age. Do I look like I'm complaining? Do I? There's no point to this conversation. You gonna sit there and tell me you do not think about that night? Look, look at me. Are you gonna tell me you don't think? Because I think about that day, that night, every day of my life. Are you gonna say you don't feel anything for me, babe? Listen, okay. I wish I could turn the tables, but even if I feel something for you, there is no point. Okay. Let's do it this way. I, I have a proposition for us. I want to be there for you and the baby the entire nine months. And once the baby is born, I promise you that. I promise you. If you do not want me, I swear to you, I will leave. But please let me take care of you and the baby. Just this one thing. Please. Let me think about it. Gabby, Gabby, I, I, I don't want you to go through this alone. Gabby, be a father, please. I want to take care of you and the baby, and I want this, please. Oh, goodness. No, no, no. I love you. I love you. I want to be with you, babe. I swear. Please. Okay. Please. You look so far. 
point. Let me take care of you. She wants to stay with me all through pregnancy. That's fair. That's fair enough. I don't know if I like the idea. His mom is trouble. Babes, the truth of the matter is that you need all the help and care you can get. Because this is your first pregnancy and you're 38 years old. So let him be there for you. I mean, you don't have to be with him. I wish I could just turn back the hands of time. Trust me, you will be fine. Come here. Come have some sugar. You'll be fine. Oh, my darling friend is going to be a mother. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where do you think you're going to? I'm going to be with Gabby and my own child. <laughs> okay, that is a joke. No, you better be joking. The words that came out of your mouth right now, it better be a joke. It's not a joke. I can't let her handle all that on her own. Wow. Wow. My 20-year-old son is leaving my house to go moving with a 38-year-old woman and her mother. And I'm just learning about that now? You are just telling me this now? This is the reason why I didn't tell you. I knew your reaction would be negative. Of course! What if she was your own daughter? Of course my reaction is supposed to be negative! What are you trying to tell me right now? You are my only child. I have every right to be worried about you. Is it wrong to worry about you? My only child? It's okay. It's okay to be worried about me, but I'm not a baby. I'm a big boy, I can handle myself. Oh! <laughs> okay, Mr. Big Boy, please tell me. What about school? Hmm? What happens to school? I mean, school can't wait. School can't wait. School is not running anywhere. Even 40 year olds attend school. <laughs> Still young. Okay. Olamide. Nathaniel. Adelike. I am highly disappointed in you. I am highly disappointed in you. You have broken my heart. You have failed me. I did everything for you. I gave you everything. I raised you the best way a good mother would raise a child. And this is what you do? Huh? You got a old, old, ugly hack pregnant. And you are standing right in front of me, spitting nonsense from your mouth. Father will be turning. Yes, your father is turning and tossing and wailing in his grave right now. God knows I did everything right by you. Boy, I did everything right by you. Thank you. Thank you for disappointing me. I'm so late. I'm sorry, Mom. Please get out. I still don't understand what this arrangement is all about. So both of you had better stick to the plan. The plan is just about the baby. Because you are not going to marry a toddler. Oh, that's enough, please. Oh, no, 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 please. Because I've been meaning to ask all that question. Tell me, how did you do it? I'm asking you, how did you start? Were no, you... No. Shut up, I'm not talking to you. Let me finish. Were you looking into her eyes? As in, how did you start the whole thing? Because I can't still wrap my head around it. And I repeat, my daughter will not marry a toddler. Mom, you're embarrassing him. Oh, you don't know that you ruined his life. Should I tell you that? 
This boy is supposed to be in school with his fellow students. But look at him here. Is he not a shame? <clears throat> Ma'am, with all due respect, I, I'm not here out of pity. I'm here because I, I really love Gabby and I want to be there for her and our oh, baby. Up. Do you know about love? Uh, Tell me, what do you know about love? Uh, Have you seen anything? Ma, I might not know much about life, but I do know one thing for certain. Taking responsibility, which my father taught me. That's my mess, and I promise I'm definitely going to claim it. Come on, let me take the camera. Is this for me? Of course, for you. I'm ready for you. Do you like it? It's so sweet. I'm glad you like it. No one has ever done this for me. Yes, and this and more I will do for you. Gabby, all I want to do is make you happy. But you just have to let me. So I can pull back here. Who are you? I... I am my Omide. I'm a friend of Gabby. Is she around? Uh, yeah. Come on. Oh, I wasn't expecting you. Yeah, you haven't been returning my calls, so I decided to come check up on you. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot has been happening. I see. Um, Ola, please can you excuse me? Huh? It's complicated. I'm pregnant. You serious? I don't understand. For who? For Ola. That, that boy doesn't even look like he's up to 25 years old yet. He's actually 20. But before you judge me, it was a mistake, okay? Why am I even explaining myself? It's not like we're dating. Gabby, I, I am not judging you. Okay. So you're not put off? Hey. What happens to us? Look, Gabby, I have loved you since the very first moment that I laid my eyes on you. I'm with another man's child. How is this supposed to work? You two are not together, right? Can I think about this? Okay. Take your time.
Hey, no, it's, it's all right. Love who? I really do, of course. Why are you eavesdropping? Not like you guys, you're discreet. Answer my question. Do you love him? How does it concern you? I don't have to explain my personal life to you. Gabby, do you realize that I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you? Do you? Stop it. Just stop it. Hey, hey. Never do this again. Gabriel, your middle was here to be right. Why is everybody in my business? Please stop it. Answer me. He was here, right? Yes, he was. What did he say? Well, I told him I told him I'm pregnant, but he insisted on being with me regardless. Really? Oh my God! God has finally answered my my prayers. So, what did you tell him? That I'll consider it. Consider it? Gabby, an elderly woman like you got pregnant for a child. And God, in his infinite mercy, still decides to be nice to you. And you still want to consider it. You're still thinking about it. It will not work with me. I reject it for you. I reject it. You are going to date Ayomide. Mom, I am with another man's child. <laughs> Who is the man? That toddler that you put milk inside feeding bottle and feed. Look at me. Look at me. You are going to date Ayomide, whether you like it or not. And don't stress me with it. You're impossible. You're impossible for being my room. <laughs> Come and change this TV station for me because I don't know how to change it. What is wrong with you? For crying out loud, show some respect. I am not your age mate. Okay, I get it. Get it. This is about the age thing, right? <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea having you here. Better get a grip of yourself. Wow. 
So how are you doing? You look beautiful though. I'm fine. Mm. Pregnancy sure looks good on you. You mean stress looks good on me? <laughs> Trust me, girlfriend. You don't look stressed at all. Do you know, Ayomide came to my house. I told him, what's up? You won't believe that this guy still wants to be with me. Really? Wow. That shows he really loves you. Because no man would want to be with a pregnant woman. Exactly. So what did you tell him? <clears throat> I told him I want to think about it. What is there to think about? You know, Gabby, sometimes I don't just understand you. Okay. Besides the fact that I barely know this guy, why does everybody want me to say yes? But your mother is familiar with his family. So that should count for something. Oh, is there something else you're not telling me? No. Hmm. Does it have anything to do with Olamide? Olamide is the father of my baby. There's nothing going on between us. Gabby. Gabby. What? Stop calling my name, madam. I told you already, I can't be with him. Okay, so let me ask you this question. What if he wasn't so young? And he'll be my dream man. You see? Girl, you love this guy. You do. Thanks, me. Mm -hmm. Be on my page for once. Okay? Uh, well, <laughs> I understand, but Thank I mean, Ayumide is a cute, tall, handsome guy. And you're rejecting him. So, for which who? one do you want now? Uh, Ayumide or Olamide? <clears throat> Tell me. Please, trust, me trust me. Trust <laughs> me. If I were to be in your shoes. I'll go for your midday. You know you shouldn't be staying out this late in your condition. Hey, don't worry, let me help you now. Sorry. Just wait, 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 wait. Don't worry. Yep. That feels so good. All right. Thank you. All right. How do you know so much? <laughs> um, you know, some research. I read a lot too, you know. Hmm. Yeah, it helps. How do you feel? Really good. Yeah, it's good. I was out with Tess. I oh. needed to clear my head. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, why don't we just go inside so you can rest better? Mm -mm. Okay. I just want to stay here and enjoy your massage. Wow. Okay. Okay. You know what? Sit back. And let me do your ride. Okay. <laughs> mm. That's my baby. You feel? You're so rich. <laughs> Mm, that's spot, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Like it, huh? Mm, love it. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Mm, that's spot. I was going to ask, don't you think that your presence here is distracting my daughter? How do you mean that? What I mean is that someone is interested in my daughter and you are impeding her happiness. Oh, uh, uh, 
I haven't done anything like that. You have done everything. Everything. You got my daughter pregnant without fear. Even when she's old enough to be your mother. Oh. Excuse me, I'm talking. As if that was not enough, you kept following her everywhere like a pest. Ma, the thing is, I, I love your daughter. Shut up. Shut up. How dare you speak abomination with your mouth? How could you love my daughter? Ma, I, I really love your daughter. She, she, she makes me very happy, and I want to be there for her and the baby. No. Now listen to me. You and Gabby will not work. Will never work. Go look for a girl of your age and transfer that love to her. So come here, silly boy. I missed you. I never in a million years thought that you did leave your mother all by herself in this big house. Huh? But I knew you were going to come back. I'm glad you're home, son. And you don't have to keep doing this. You don't have to go back to her again. Okay? I love Gabby, Mama. So you cannot love her. She is not for you. She's too old for you. Your what's apart? Huh? Can I Can I stay here for a few days? Oh, come off it. Now you know that's a trick question, right? This is your house. You don't need permission to stay in your house. You're welcome here anytime, any day. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. you know what? You'll go upstairs and you settle in. And I'll make you your favorite. Hmm? Thank you, Mom. Mom is cooking. I know you love it. You will love it. Hmm? Okay? And don't ever leave your old woman in this house all by herself again. What sort of stupid question is that? What's my business with a boy? He is not a boy. 
Okay. Well, I advised him to get a life. I also advised him to get a younger girl for a relationship. And I also told him that Tayomide is interested in you. What were you thinking, Mom? It's not fair what you did. He's only trying to help me out, me and the baby. Well, Ayomide should be the one helping you, not him. Then you're smart. You are impossible. Mm. Just in case you want to know, you're having a baby girl. <laughs> are you serious? Come, 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 come. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, I love you. That's what you would have told me. The moment you entered, come on, I'm happy. Baby girl, oh my god. You know what? I've been meaning to tell you that I want to travel for a couple of days. Do be fine without me. Of course. Besides, I'm lazy. How are you sure he's going to come? Well, thanks to you. You don't look bright. What is wrong? I haven't seen him for days, so. Ah! And you miss him? To be honest, I miss him a lot. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Are you falling for him? Tess, I know this is wrong, but I think I am. Honestly. Wow. But Gabby. But, but Don't say anything. I know I'm not supposed to do anything with him, right? But Tess, I love his presence. Aww. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I, I totally understand. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. Thank you very much. Aww. I was worried about how to explain it to you. By the way, uh -huh. good news, we're having a baby girl. <laughs> yes! Wow! That's, that's great! Oh my goodness, I can't wait to start shopping for her. Uh -uh. You know what? I think we should do that right now. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. it's easy, okay? Babes, let's go shopping! <laughs> So you're not going to say anything to me, right? You're just going to ignore me like I don't matter. Really? Do you really matter? All you think of me is a young boy who got you pregnant. So is that... Does that give you the right to leave this house without telling me or anybody else? For goodness sake. <sighs> Hola. I am pregnant. You left me in a panic. Babe. Look, is this the reason for all this for you? Or is this something else? Look, babe, you can't just say you miss me, okay? Babe, <laughs> are you okay? Shopping. Should I call the doctor? Mm -hmm. yeah. Bye. Uh, what do I do, baby? Huh? Where? Uh. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Just relax. Let me take you to your room, okay? Hmm? Come. Bye. Okay. Easy, easy, easy.
What? To the world. You don't. You're one person. I'm going to be a girl dad. You're one person. Oh. Wait. Get up. I cannot lie. I just wanna say. You make me feel feel complete. My Thank life you. is Thank worthless you. without Thank you. So Thank you so I just much. wanna tell you, you make me feel you. Like, I just wanna say, <laughs> I love you. No. Baby, I love you. I love you. I love you. Baby, I love you. I love you. To the queen oh, of my heart. The best. You guys are back here? Ah, okay. Ah, my princess. Daddy has been scared this past few days. <laughs> the mommy has been sick and Daddy has been really worried. But I'm glad she's here with us. She comes very. Of course she can. You make an amazing time. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Okay. Bye. I'm just going to go check it out. Daddy will be coming to check him out from time to time, okay? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, just call me if you need anything. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need us to talk. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you for all the love that you've shown me since you've been here. And it's despite everything that I've said and done to you. See, Gabby, I... I love you so much. You know, I don't... I don't even care if you older than me or not. I really do love you. Doesn't it bother you what people say? I don't... I don't care. Anybody... Anybody can say what they want to say. I don't care. I'm 18 years older than you. I could be your mother. But you're not. You're not my mother. Look, I love you, and I just want to take care of you and our baby. That's all that matters to me. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care whatever anybody thinks. Look, people who talk, people who think whatever they want, they can do. I don't care what matters. It's just us. What you think of me, what I think of you, what you feel for me, what I feel for you. That's all that matters. Okay? My love. To the world. You're one person. But to one person, you are the world. You have blown my mind. I cannot lie. I just wanna say. You make me feel, feel complete. My life is worthless okay. without you. Can we help you? No. Huh? <clears throat> Can we just watch you? Huh? If you insist. I insist. Okay, that's fine. What? I love you. 
I love you, Gabby. I love you. To the queen of my heart, you're the best. <laughs> Is it? Mm. <laughs> 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 Babes, you look so happy though. Am I missing out on anything <laughs> apart from the fact that you are due in few weeks? Well. As in, close, close. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. We've made love. Mm -hmm. And I just can't get over the way you make me feel. Oh. Bless you. I don't know where to put your head is going. But I'm really, if you pass me as a child, I want to try. That's so sweet to hear. Babes, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Honestly, I know you really, really liked him. I don't know where this is going, but I am so glad you're willing to give it a shot. Uh, I'm worried about what people will say, though. Oh, don't. Baby, focus on your happiness. Because at the end of the day, that's the only thing that really matters. Huh? I'm blessed with the best friend ever. Love I love you. you. I love you, right back. <laughs> ah, baby, baby, she's doing amazing. She can't wait to meet you. I cannot wait to meet you too. I, I cannot wait to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> You. What were you thinking kissing and romancing that toddler? I did not do anything wrong. I am in love with that young man and I want to be with him. Really? Do you realize that what you were doing is called child trafficking? You should be arrested. He is 20, not 16. What if he's your child? Tell me, what if your son of that age is doing this thing you are doing with a woman of your age? What will you do? Be sympathetic to the mother at least now. What's your problem? How do you intend to present this boy to the rest of the world? He makes me happy. And you, as my mother, should be concerned about my happiness, not what the world thinks. It should be us against the world. God forbid. God forbid bit that I will be part of this abomination. Well, don't be. It is my life and not yours. I just want to be happy. That's all that matters. I didn't plan for any of this to happen. Besides, I don't want to deprive my daughter of a life with her father. I never had that experience. Hey, Yomide can be her father. Ayomide is not her biological father. Mom, my happiness and well-being should be your top priority. You know what? I am a shit. 
ashamed to be linked with you. Because all I see around you is a homage. Now get out of my room. Get out! to get back to me. I said I would think about it. Hey, Ayo. I can't be with you. I'm in love with someone else. The father of your child? It doesn't matter. I can't be with you. So please just leave. Hey. I love you. And I want to be with you. I have just said that I, I can't be with you. I'm in love with someone else. Take care of you and the child. I just want to be with you. Leave or I'll scream. Gabby, I saw everything. You saw nothing. He kissed me, I didn't kiss back. No. See, all that doesn't matter. Gabby, I am sick and tired of being that small boy. I've been here for months and all I've done is love you. I'll never be enough for you, apparently. Hey. I love you. <laughs> yeah, you kissed another. You kissed another man. Look, I'm done, okay? You go be with him. So, you're just going to go back on your promise? Uh, you promised to be here all the way. Hmm? Yeah, I know I love her, okay? I need you, Ola. We need you. About it. Okay, please, let's talk about it, okay? Gabby! Hey, go away! I don't want to talk to you! 
We can talk about it, okay? Gabby, baby. Gabby, Gabby, open the door. Please open the door. You have not eaten anything or drink anything in days. That's not good for you and your baby. Okay? Gabby, please. If you don't want to eat, the baby would want to eat, okay? Gabby, please. You haven't eaten anything since morning. Bestie, it's me, Tess. Please open the door. I need to talk to you. Um, listen, whatever happened, we will figure it out together, as we always do. Please allow me in, please. I told you. Are you sure my daughter and her baby are still okay? Gabby is all right. But I'm concerned since she hasn't eaten or drank anything for days. And that bothers me. Honestly, I'm afraid we may need to break down this door open if she doesn't open it in a few hours, okay? That's fine. Yes. Oh, Gabby, please. Just, just 
Open the door. Let's talk about this. Let's talk things through, okay? Please, you can't do this to yourself. Thank God. Thank God she's alive. Yeah. Hold on. What do you want? Hmm? I'm not here to quarrel, okay? Mm. I just want to see Olandi. Why? Ola? Please, I came to see you. My daughter has not been herself since you left. She has not eaten. She has not drank anything. She has been sobbing, locked herself in her room. She wouldn't take anything. And I don't think that will be good for, for her and the baby. Please. Okay? Mala? Um, uh, listen. My son, he's done. He's not interested in you or your daughter. He's done with all your craziness. So please pack your garbage, pass, pack all your problems, and get out. Leave my house and leave me and my son alone. It's enough. Mala, I'm talking to you. You heard my mother. Yes, you did. You heard him. <sighs> Really? Uh-huh. Oh, I knew it. I knew I was right after all. I knew you are not a man. <laughs> so when I call you a toddler, I, I wasn't wrong. Because it's, it's obvious you cannot make decisions for yourself. You allow someone to decide for you. But I want to tell you one thing. I hope you'll be able to live with yourself should anything happen to my daughter and your baby. Uh. How do I get out? Toddler, but well, it was man enough to get your daughter pregnant. It's okay, Sam. My time. Hola, hola. Hola. My boy! I'm so sorry now. Yes, 
Blitz. Yes. I don't know, me and Alan Jones. Me and I'm not leaving. Yes. Me and Tiki are behind the baby, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. 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 Not to be put with the table. What? Are you sure? Yes, I am. Okay. I guess. We, we call everyone air to employ you our models to give our lab a chance. Everything that happened was all planned. Or we've resolved to it. Set aside all odds and just focus on being happy and enjoying it. Mom. Uh, I know you're disappointed in me. I am disappointed in myself. And I know that the society may be disappointed in me. But I will, I will rather face my fears, I will face the antagonisms and the attacks than to let love and happiness slip away from me. What are you saying? What are you saying? Mom, I want our baby, my daughter, your best grandchild, to know that she is loved by her parents. By you. Well, I want you to be happy for me. I want you to be happy that I found the boss. Okay. I know that I pressurized you into getting married. I was worried. You were getting older. I know all the hate that I give you. But in this past few months or weeks, I've come to see you in another way, in another light. I have realized that love wins. So I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Mom. And I feel you. I know I feel that I understand this. This is definitely not the life you ambitioned for me. You know, love happened and I, for one, I just couldn't help it. Mm. This woman you see here, all of you will call old enough to be my mom. Truth is she, she's not. Nobody in this world loves me as much as this woman. There's nowhere in the world I can actually find peace as much as I find in this woman. And the best part is, She's carrying my child, the greatest gift of life. Mom, 
I just want you and her to give us a chance and let's see where, you know, where we can go from here as a couple, as two beautiful people in love. Honestly, there's no cause for alarm, you know. I and Gabby have chosen to take things slowly. Uh, immediately this child is born, I promise to go back to school. You know, I assure you I'll go back to school, make sure I finish, and also become the CEO of that firm. Myself and Gabby have chosen to take each day as it comes, sharing the love and be happy and also be there for our child. Please, give you a little chance, ma'am. I beg you, ma'am. This is difficult. Maybe this is very difficult. You know, I had a pub. Midday! Sorry, well. Sorry. You know, I had a perfect picture <coughs> of you in my head. Hmm? You got me back home <laughs> with them girls and sneaking around, thinking that mommy would never find out. <sighs> Finishing school, working in your dad's company, Excellent. and coming home to tell me that you have found the perfect, beautiful girl that you want to marry. I have pictures of planning your wedding. That you're giving me the beautiful, cute and adorable grandchildren. All this picture to help them have the perfect time, the right time. You see this part? This part of you becoming a man at 20. Yeah. Mm. I did not see that part coming. Mm, I didn't. <laughs> you got me there. Omidy, I am proud of you. Overall, I am very proud of you. Thank you. Wow. You took responsibilities for your actions, regardless of the age of the woman involved. Now that is admirable. But it's been a gentleman, and it makes me so proud. It reassures me that I raised a good man, that I did the right thing for your mother. that I was just protecting my boy. Yeah? I'm sorry, yeah? Please. <laughs> Fine girl. <sighs> Gabby, you are such a beautiful, gorgeous woman. You know that, right? <laughs> hmm? Oh, all the rude words, the insults, the old, calling you a hag. I didn't mean all of that, okay? I am so sorry. Um, you need to understand. Midea right here is everything to me. 
And I was just protecting them all, okay? Every reaction was born to the fact that I was being a mother. I did not mean to cause your grief. I apologize. No, no, no. I'm so but take care of my son. Love him like I have loved him, like I love him. Protect him, keep him safe. Okay? Yes. Did you promise me? I promise. No, I need you to promise me for me. I promise. <laughs> I will hold you to it. <laughs> Much. I perfectly understand. In fact, I should think they won't apologize to you. And I couldn't apologize, you know. I'm sorry. You wanted to take me. Can we eat now? Yes. Because no, uh, I, <laughs> I could use some of this food. I'm yeah. sure the food's gonna taste better now. Yeah. Certainly. Thank you all for coming, sharing this beautiful evening with us. I, <laughs> me and Gabby, we have a special piece of information we want to share with you. We just completed our mansion. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> Which in turn brings me to the most important part of tonight. My loves. I'm gonna fool you. You see, the the past six years has been the most challenging time of our lives. It has redefined our purpose and I want to take this time out. No! In presence of the most important people in our lives. I've never been so nervous in my entire life. Oh, you, should be. you should be. Oh, God. Gabby, will you do forever with me? Wow. Say yes. Oh. <laughs> Making a toast to love, yes. Yes. to forever, mm -hmm. and to happiness. Amen. She have my blessings. Cheers, bestie. Yeah. Have my blessings. Enjoy it. Oh, okay. cheers. <laughs> my boy. Wow. Cheers.
my life and I won't look back ever again yeah. If you ain't see me activated You better hope that you never see me agitated I think about my actions, plan them out, evaluate it That's how I end up on